It's our own cells. Equipped with quite a broad range of tools to fight cancerous cells or virus-infected cells. How can we take this further? How can we harness what already lies within us? So where do you start? We start with isolated cells or tissue samples. They can be tumor samples from kidneys, and then give it closer, closer. It's about 0 0.01 micrometers. The community of T cells. There are two types of T cells. Attackers eliminate other cells, both sick or healthy, while regulators ensure they only target the disease cells. The attacker cells have unique receptors, like lock and key. Each receptor corresponds to a sick cell. Only one in a million is the right fit to attack a disease cell. I mean, theoretical, not even millions, like more than stars in the universe. When I was an undergrad, I wrote a poem about this. <laughs> you can't test billion times a billion combinations. Can be frustrating. It's like looking for a needle in a haystack, but this is there most of the time. So as frustrating as it can be, I know there'll always be a solution. I really enjoy doing the practical side of it, doing all of the lab work, so the pipetting, the tissue culture, looking after the cell, having different TCR, setting up experiments and running. It's just amazing. You can use the own cells for the patients and give them back as a medicine. Sometimes this can go wrong. It's always coming up just short. And then you start to question yourself. There's been lots of sleepless nights when you've questioned why it is that you're doing it. But this can benefit real lives, and one cured patient will keep you going. Another year. And years. <laughs> 23 years. I mean, T-Reg research emerged in the 90s. It feels like yesterday. <laughs> well, that's maybe, yeah. <laughs> the more people who are willing to work as a team together, the more likely it is that you will achieve the goal. It's funny, you know, how the answers have always lied within us. I guess now it's just about what questions we ask next.